Hello, everyone, and especially my six subscribers. Um, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I took a little, like, two-month sabbatical. Um, yeah, I had an insane two months, which if you saw some of my other videos, you could kind of tell that things were going in a weird direction from some of, like, the beginning commentary that I was making. Um, I didn't know that stuff would just hit the fan the way that it did, but pretty much, uh, not that anybody asked for an explanation of this, and I only have six subscribers who probably didn't even really acknowledge that I stopped posting, but, um, basically what happened over the last couple of months was that... Uh, I was working at this place, and as I had said in previous videos, oh my goodness, my hair. Um, I got a haircut. <laughs> Meh, whatever, hat's done. Hair's just gonna be a mess, whatever. Um, so as I was saying in like my last few videos, I was spearheading opening up a couple of locations, or a new location. Uh, basically, the place that I was working at, yeah, my boss had an unhealthy interest in me. And by unhealthy, I mean like, hired me when there was not enough business to warrant hiring another employee, which I thought was just him being nice. Um, after a couple months, I, if you haven't caught on from a couple of my other videos, I just moved to like a new state. Um, and I got rid of all of my old stuff when I moved, so he bought me a bed, like it was just an air mattress, but, um, bought me a bed, which I was like, okay, this guy's like a really nice employer. He always was very like hands-on, touchy with me, which, like I've been around touchy people before, um, and I'm fine, like some people are just a little extra affectionate. I can be that way with like close friends and stuff, and he just jumped into that with me, so I was like, okay, this guy must just feel like I'm a close friend already. And then he got me, like, $300 worth of, like, airfare to send me home, um, because I was missing my family. Then I got a couple other employees that were like, well, he's never done that stuff for us. Is he gonna send me home? I miss my family. I'm like, who? Okay, I guess I wasn't catching on to some red flags. If you saw some of my other videos, I obviously have a boyfriend. So I started opening up the second location. I don't even really know what happened. Like, my boyfriend was going through, not like going through stuff, but two of his best friends were leaving the state, which was hard for him, and he wanted to get a lot of time in with them, so I wanted to get a lot of time in with them. You know, just trying to be a good boyfriend, whatever, and we hit a good stride in our relationship where we were really progressing and moving forward, like relationships do. And so I very clearly was like, I if I'm not at work, I'm not at work. That means don't call me anymore at 10 p.m. Don't try and get a hold of me on social media to talk to me about work things. If I'm not at work, then I'm at home. And if I don't respond, then it's because I'm busy. He didn't like that. Um, so on my day off, where I was going to have uh, my boyfriend meet this woman who essentially is my mother, he told me that I needed to come in and sign some new contract for my employment. Um, and I was like, nope, I already let you know. If I'm not at work, I'm not at work. And on top of that fact, like, legally, I should not be signing paperwork unless I'm on the clock. So I can sign it tomorrow. He didn't like that, and two hours later sent me an email saying that for months I've been a terrible employee, I was so hard to work with, yada yada, when literally a week earlier he sent everyone an email where in it it stated that I basically saved his business and what a treasure I was and how I, you know, helped him through a really tough time. Um, he had lost his father recently, I was such a good friend. So basically he just lost it. Um, because things were going good with my boyfriend. And, uh, yeah. And I could go into a bunch of other stuff. And I have, like, the evidence to legally back the things that I could say, but I'm choosing not to because who needs that? And then I 
talk to a lawyer about like about essentially like seeking damages for like sexual harassment. The guy was like, you have a very, very solid case, but they're an LLC. And from what you've told me and from the research I've done on them, they're not worth it. Their business is going under. They'll probably go out of business very soon. They're like very money poor and very like equity poor. So essentially just poor. So even if I took them to court, all that would do would just like vindicate my pride because I wouldn't get anything out of it. Cause all they'd have to do is say, well, we're broke and that would be it. Yeah, all of that happened. And on top of that, um, my best friend like was going through a medical issue, which like I felt terrible about because I didn't wanna like smother them and make them feel, you know, nervous, more scared about what was already going on. So I was being a bad friend and not talking to them when I should have been talking to them. And then every time I did talk to them, I was, nervous that I was smothering them or making them feel more nervous. It's a stupid cycle there. And then my boyfriend moved in, which anybody that's ever moved in with a spouse knows that that is like such a joyous time. And then quickly you realize how much you, <laughs> how different things are. Um, yes, and so I've been like getting over those hurdles. I also started coaching. Like I'm not a coach, but I started getting coached, um, particularly towards finance because I just want to build myself in my early 20s rather than like in my 40s. So yeah, um, I started doing that, which ate up a ton of time. And I kept telling myself like, oh, I'll make a video next week. I'll make a video next week. And then I kept just not doing it. Um, but yeah, here I am. And I realized that three videos a week like I was doing or was trying to do is probably a little much for me with all the stuff that I do still have going on. But yeah, so I'm at least gonna be doing one a week. And I was super surprised. I logged on today to look at my analytics. I was totally expecting to see like zero for the last two months, maybe a few like a couple days after my last video. And Thanks to, I'm assuming, my subscribers and a few randos, uh, I have actually been getting views every single day still. So that was pretty awesome to see that after a sabbatical, people still wanted to watch the content that I was making, was really encouraging. So yeah, I'm gonna keep putting out videos. I'm gonna get better about that. I have a list of videos that I want to make. So um, if anything, I'm gonna start making them like further ahead of time and then maybe do different intros and outros for them because I like to include like my subscriber count and yada yada. Thanks everyone for watching even when I disappeared and uh, I hope to get more subscribers, more views, all that good stuff. So thanks everybody. Bye!